Now let us implement the logic of our 5 star rating system project. So we are done with the front end of our 5 star rating project. Next we need to implement the logic. So if you remember when the mouse is moved over a particular star, we are displaying those stars in one color and once the user clicks on a star, we are displaying those stars in a different color. So how we can implement that? We can write code on the mouse over and mouse leave events to display the stars in one particular color. And on the click event, we can write the code to display it in the color and also to show thanks you have rated this 3 stars or 4 stars like that. So we have to write the code on 3 different events. For mouse over and mouse leave, we will display the stars in a particular color. So let us have two different class names, one for highlighting the stars when the mouse is moved over them and one for highlighting the stars once it is clicked. Okay, so let me first add two different class names. One is for hovered stars. These are not clicked but just hovered. So let me set one color for those stars. Let the color be, I have already chosen one color. This is the color I have selected and for stars that are already clicked. So let me name it as clicked stars. For them, let me specify the color as sandy brown. You can choose whatever color you want. So for those stars which are not clicked but just hovered over, we are displaying them in this particular color. It is a shade of yellow and for those stars that are already clicked, we are displaying the sandy brown color. Now we need to write the code that is a jQuery code. So let me add the script section script and within this let me add the document.ready event. So dollar document dot ready and within this let me specify function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and let me put a semicolon here which I forgot. Now what we need to do, we need to write the code for the mouse over event where we will add the Howard stars class, right? So let me write dollar li, that is the list items, dot mouse over, on the mouse over I want to do this and let me add the function, okay? And what we need to do, we have to add this Howard stars class for all the stars up to the hovered star. That is, if I hover over this star, we need to add the hovered stars class for li elements, this, this and this. That is, up to the hovered star. Hope it is clear. I am moving the mouse over this means all the stars up to this should have the hovered stars class. So, how we can implement that? Let me first get the currently hovered class using, let me specify where current equals dollar this, which means it will be currently hovered class. And we need to add the hovered stars class for all the stars up to that particular currently hovered star. So how we can do that? Let me run an each loop. So dollar li dot each we need to have the function and for this function I want to have the index so for each li element we can get the index if I specify index or even you can specify key or whatever name you want here I am specifying index and if this index becomes equal to the index of this one we can exit that is only up to that element or up to that star we need to add the hovered star class. So within this I can specify dollar this. Here why I have collected this dollar this outside this each method because in this dollar this will be for each li element. So this will be different within this each method that is why I have collected the currently hovered star 
outside the each method. Hope you understand. So, for each one, I want to add the class, which is the class name. We have Howard Stars class. Then, once if index equal equals current dot index, that is the index of the currently Howard star, then what we need to do? We can return false. This is how we are going to add the Howard stars class for all the stars up to the currently Howard star. So, let me save this and show you. Let me hover over the fourth star. See, we are seeing four stars having the hovered stars class. That is why they are displayed in yellow color. Now, suppose we don't have this section. Let me cut it for, for the time being to just show you. Let me save this. Now, suppose I move the mouse over the third star. See? All the stars are getting the yellow color, but we don't want it that way, right? We want yellow color for the stars only up to the currently hovered star. That is why we have collected the currently hovered stars details here. And once this index, this index will be from 0 to 4 because we have 5 stars. So, the index will be starting from 0. It will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, once this index becomes the index of the currently hovered star, then we are returning false, which means only up to that star we are adding the hovered stars class. So, that part is done. Next, what we need to do, this is not clicked. We have just hovered over the stars. So, when the mouse is moved out of the star, then we need to remove the hovered stars class. So, how we can do that? For mouse leave event, we need to write that. So, dollar li dot mouse leave function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces let me put a semicolon here and what we need to do we need to remove the hovered stars class from all the elements so we can just specify dollar li dot remove class which class should be removed we need to remove the hovered stars class okay so, let us save this and check the output. Let me move the mouse over the third star. We are seeing yellow color for first, second and third stars. If I move the mouse out of this star, the yellow color is gone. See, now only two stars are having the hovered stars class. Okay. Next, what we need to do? Once we click on a particular star, all the stars up to that star should have the selected stars class or clicked stars class right so how we can implement that we need to implement it on the click event so let me write dollar li dot click this is for the click event what we need to do function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and here what we can do we can add the clicked stars class this is the class name this class can be added for all the li elements having hovered stars so that they will get the clicked stars color so let me select them dollar dot hovered stars dot add class what class should be added it should be clicked stars let us see how it works let me save this let me move the mouse over this. Now they are having hovered stars class. Clicked. See, these three have got the clicked stars class. Now suppose I move the mouse over the fourth star. Now it is having the hovered stars class. If I click on this, it is also having the clicked stars class. But what if I click on the third star now? What should happen actually? This should not have any color, right? But if I click on this, it is not working. Why? Because initially we should remove the clicked stars class from all the currently clicked stars. And then only we should do this. That is add class clicked stars on the elements having the hovered stars class. So what we can do first, we can specify dollar li dot remove class. Which class should be removed? Clicked stars. Otherwise, it will not be working fine. 
if we have already clicked five stars and go back to click three stars because those two stars that is the fourth and fifth star will still be having the clicked stars class now let me save this and show you let me move the mouse over the second one now they are highlighted clicked working clicked working if i click on this see this is not having the clicked stars class so it is working fine but we need to see the proper message here right now, even after rating it is still showing please rate your overall experience so what we can do after adding the class we can select the message div element its id's message right yes dot html what can be said we can specify thanks you have rated this we need to specify the number of stars so how we can get it if we get dollar dot click stars dot length then it will be the number of stars clicked isn't it then we can specify stars which means that thanks you have rated this three stars or four stars like that let me save this and show you let me move the mouse over this one thanks you have rated this one stars you can actually have s in brackets star or stars right or else you can write extra code to decide this but to make it simple i have just made this change okay now let me click on this you have rated this two stars four stars three stars five stars so the logic is implemented correctly we are seeing you have rated this three stars two stars now we are seeing the howard stars color that is yellow color five four three two four one so it is working perfectly so what we have done to implement the logic we have written code on the mouse over mouse leave and click events when the mouse is put over a particular star we are getting its details using dollar this outside the each method then we are adding the hovered stars class inside the each method so that it will be added for all the stars but once the index becomes equal to the index of the currently hovered star we are returning false which means only up to that star this class will be added and on the mouse leave event we are removing that particular class we have added here which is hovered stars class then on the click event what we are doing we are actually removing the clicked stars class from all the elements and later we are adding this clicked stars class on all the elements having the hovered stars class and also we are modifying the message to display it like thanks you have rated this the number of stars can be received using clicked stars length and then stars so here we have implemented the five star rating system using jquery from scratch we have written logic on the mouse over mouse leave and click events